Oh, oh, sorry. I'm nearly ready for bed. What about you? Shall we have a little story first? I thought I'd share with you The Tiger Who Came to Tea by Judith Kerr. Let's see what's inside this book. Oh, some pictures of the tiger inside having a lovely time with the little girl. Once there was a little girl called Sophie. She was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly there was a ring at the door. Ding dong. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be daddy because he's got his key. We better open the door and see. Hmm. Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in. Would you like this tiger come in for tea? So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. There he is right there with Sophie and it's Sophie's mummy. They're all together. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. Whop. And he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. She's giving him all the cakes. What a hungry tiger. But again, the tiger didn't just eat one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish and then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. <gasps> what a hungry and thirsty tiger. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. Do you think he'll find some more food? And he ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans. And all the food in the fridge. I don't think there's anything going to be anything left, do you? What a hungry, hungry tiger. And he ate all the packets and tins in the cupboard. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all of daddy's beer and all the water from the tap. Really is drinking everything now. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. He really has, hasn't he? He's left a bit of a mess. And Sophie found that she couldn't have her bath. Why? Because the tiger had drunk all the water in the taps. So she can't have a bath. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. What's he gonna say? So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and we'll go to a cafe. So they're going to go to a restaurant for something to eat, I think. There's no food at home. There they are putting on their jackets, out they go. So out they went in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to the cafe. They had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food, just in case the tiger should come to tea again. See there, there's the tiger food. never did. He never did come to tea again. He's there at the end and he's playing a little tune on his trumpet saying goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. And that's the end of my story.